it's Ian from RTO and welcome to another retro ranking um, as it's ladies day we have got a lady and it's another Irish lady, lady who sadly passed away in July on the 26th of July she was born on the 8th of December 1966 so she's only my age which always when people die that were born in my the year I was born it does hit it home and we're talking about Sinead Marie Bernadette O'Connor Irish singer songwriter and activist okay I probably didn't be didn't believe in some of her beliefs but as a singer and a songwriter I couldn't fault her um, many big hits and of course she has that big hit which we will, I'm not going to say because it we're going to talk about it anyway um, she has some I mean I did like some of her uh, causes I mean child abuse and human rights women's rights but uh, she did, she did do some things. I mean, the most most probably the most controversial thing she ever did was in 1992, when she tore up on Saturday Night Live a picture of the Pope at the time, JP two. <laughs> but she has left us some musical greats, and um, and I know she did towards her end of her life she did struggle with mental health I and mean, she converted to Islam in 2018 and she adopted the name Shuba Sakadat and but still recorded under her birth name as uh, so unfortunately on the 26th of July 2023 she was found unresponsive in her flat in Hearn Hill they don't have it was not being treated as um, suspicious is still unknown and she that she's um, buried at Dean's Garanry Cemetery so I've picked 10 songs from her career that I really like um, I've got one or two I've got more of a compilation albums of Enya so these are just tracks off that album I did look at some of the other albums as well so here we go so coming in at number 10 this is from 1990 and it's from the album I do I do not want what I haven't got and the track is called last day of our acquaintance as I said I don't believe with the political views but what a lovely voice this woman had I love this song because it's simple and acoustic I love this song it's wonderful Okay, coming in at number nine, we stay in 1991, and this was released as a single. It got to number 31 here in the UK, and number five in Ireland, and it's called The Emperor's New Clothes. Now, this was quite poppy for Sinead. Um, I think it's got some nice guitar on it, and I really do like it. It's one of the quirky tracks that she did. Okay, number eight, um, we now move on to 1992 two and another single from it now this got to number nine, 18 here in the UK number 11 in Ireland and it's called success has made me a failure of our home it's got a lot bit of a big band thing to it uh, shows that she's got you know she doesn't just do the somber stuff she does this sort of thing it could have come from any musical stage show it is a really really good song um, I like that one quite a lot Number seven, then, um, we go to 1994, and this is a track off um, Universal Mother. Now, I, I know this because uh, when I was doing some research, I sort of heard this song, and I didn't realise it was Sinead O'Connor, and I really like this, and it's called John, I Love You. Very gentle, and um, some lovely violin in it. A really good vocal from Sinead. I didn't realise it was Sinead, but it's absolutely wonderful. Love that track. Okay, coming in at number six. Now, this is a collaboration single. There's one or two in this little collection. And it's from 1986. And it's um, from the soundtrack to The Captive. And it's Heroin, which she did with The Edge of U2. 
I like this. I can see some great guitar here from Edge, and but the combination of Edge's musical genius and Sinead's vocal makes this a pretty stunning track. I love this. Number five is another collaboration, not on one of her albums. Um, it was from 1993. It only got to number 43 in the UK charts. It's from Peter Gabriel's album So, and it's The Wonderful Blood of Eden. One of my favourite tracks on that album. Um, but you've got that one, that sultry voice of, of Peter, that lovely angelic voice of Sinead, and put them together, and fantastic. Great song from that track, from that album. Okay, number four. We go to 1997 now. Released as a single. Only got to number 60, but boy should it have got somewhere more. And it's called This Is A Rebel Song. It's an outstanding track. Um, but then again, what was in the charts in 1997? This didn't stand a chance, but it's a wonderful vocal. It's quite controversial with the lyrics, but I just think it's brilliant. Really like that song. Top three then. So coming in at number three, we go way back to 1987. And a debut single. Now, it didn't chart anywhere but the Netherlands when it got to number eight. And it's Troy. I remember seeing this on TV and I thought, wow, this is weird. <laughs> But the vocal delivery is brilliant. Um, and it might be so much of what Toya did when she started out. It's got a wonderful thing. It's such a great track. I love it. Okay, and then number two, staying with 1987, we've now got a second um, single. And this got to number 17 in the UK. And it's called Mandinka. Now this, Mandinka, this is quite rocky. I remember heard this, I was surprised. <laughs> Again. Uh, but it's just a great, great track. One that people forget about. But number one, it's obvious what number one is. From 1990. A number one song. In Australia, Austria, Germany, Netherlands... Ireland, Italy, Switzerland, UK and the USA and it's the wonderful Nothing Compares to You. Wonderful words delivered fantastic but video to this black and white daunting tells a story as well beautiful absolutely stunning and that's why it's my number one I mean if this wasn't number one I think a lot of you would be so shocked but I have to go with everybody. It is. It's just a fantastic song. One of the best songs of the 90s. Without a doubt. So there we are. That's some of my favourites. But I have got some honourable mentions as always. And it's getting rather dark here. I think we're going to have some rain. So honourable mentions. Go to 1990. We go back to the I, I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got album. And a track called I Feel So Different. The album's pretty good. I've actually got that album now. It's got some really strong songs on it. But I just like this. It's a little bit different. It's very um, deep and meaningful. bit of protesting in there. And it's just a really good track. And it's just missed out that one did. Okay. The next track is from 2014. And it's from a very last album. And the album was I'm Not Bossy. I Am The Boss. And it's tr track called K Kisses Like Mine. Really good. A voice has altered over the years, of course. But it's it sounds great. It's probably the best track off this album. It's really gritty as well. I like that track. And my last one goes to 1997. It's from the Gospel Oak EP. I am enough for myself. I love this. It's got a nice vocal. The, the um, guitars are nice. It's just one of them tracks that you cannot dislike anything about it. It's so relaxing. And she had, again, like Enya, 
She had such a relaxing voice, and I do love this track. So there we go, a quite a controversial artist, but she left us with some wonderful music. Okay, that's all for today. But we'll be back tomorrow, and it's marathon day. And tomorrow we've got a viewer's request again, and we're going to be have a looking at the albums of experimental alternate rock band from America, Sonic Youth. So that's all coming tomorrow. Um, so have a great day, everyone, and bye for now.